Auzubillahiminashaitanirajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum My name is Shuaib Khan Today we have got a very very special tutorial for you It's called Journey Through Time So check it out So this whole tutorial is special because it's done in Photoshop and After Effects. A tiny, tiny bit is done in 3D Studio Max, which if you like, you can also do it in Photoshop. You can also reverse it. So, so this is what we will be doing today. So let's start our tutorial first with 3D Studio Max. Here we are in 3D Studio Max. But before uh, modeling the basic parts of your machine, you need to know what you're modeling. So I have this reference picture that I used. Oh, by the way, this is uh, my my wooden carving sculpture that I sculpted a long time back. Um, I've studied sculpture as well. So let's take this out of the way. Okay, so this is um, the basic um, uh, picture of a watch inside a watch that I have downloaded. And so for the reference that, okay, this is what we will be modeling, you know, some small bits and pieces, not of course all of the, all of the watch, but these small um, machine, you know, basic pieces, and then we can just put them, you know, and then of course animate them. So let's go back to 3ds Max. Let's start the first part of the machine. So this is a very, very basic modeling. There's nothing, you know, difficult about it. So you can also model or design this in Photoshop or download a picture and then, you know, convert it into lines or something. Then you can just do it in Photoshop as well. But in this one, it's quite handy. And it's quite fast as well. So that's why I have used 3D Studio Max to design this. So if you go to Shapes, click the star button here and we go to Top Viewport and maximize it by clicking here. Click Star again. and Let's make our first basic part. We go to the modifier. We come down to parameters. And here we will change few settings. OK, we come down to parameters. And here is points, radius 1 and radius 2. Points, basically, we can increase the, the points of the star. And radius is basically one is which is inside and the one is uh, outside. And then we can have also fillet radius. So we can get rid of the sharp, you know, edges. So, so this model is basically these ones. So all you need to do is just adjust a little bit more. And now we go to modifier list and apply extrude to it and that's it our first model is done so we go to top viewport and we render a file a big file we go to render scene and I go to custom and change it to 1200 by 1200 and don't do anything here just leave it as it is default and single and just say render so we've got our first part here now all you need to do is to just save it as Targa or PNG, but I'll go for, for Targa because it gives better resolution. So we say um, star 1, and then we save our image in a directory that you want to save into so that we can retrieve it later. So you say 32 and pre multiplied alpha. Let's click OK. So this is our first model is done. Now let's make another model. Okay, this is our second model that we need to make, which is also very easy to model. So we close this one. What we need to do is leave it as it is. We just delete the extrude button here. We add, we go to shapes again, and we go to, let's say, circle. And then we, let me maximize it. Then we click a circle here. And we go to modify and we interpolation we just turn it up to let's say 12 so that we get rid of the jagged ends let's duplicate the circle hold shift 
in your keyboard and then click the circle it'll ask for clone options you say copy say OK and then we just go to the parameters again we turn down the circle make a smaller circle here small circle okay we do the same we click hold shift click we make another one and we reduce the size convert this one right click and say convert editable spline and now you go to modify again and we say attach and then we attach the rest of the circles to the whole thing so it becomes one solid you know editable spline with vertex and all these segments and supplines so, so now what you need to do is next step is to create these lines so you go back and we go to vertex mode in vertex select these vertex hold control on your keyboard and select these this is a very very easy step so not to worry so now we've selected all these and now we just scroll it down in the parameters and we say chamfer 